Today, we are going to cover the newest way that you need to be importing your D&D Beyond characters into Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Before we go any further, my name is Howie. This is the Blue Collar DM YouTube channel, the channel dedicated to breaking down those barriers for new players and Dungeon Masters alike. I actually do streams on Twitch. There's going to be a link for that down in the description below. In addition to what we do here for these videos, we actually stream a live stream game. Like I said, that'll be on Twitch, but the VOD will be here on YouTube later on in the future. Make sure you check that out. If you like what you're seeing here on the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Now, in order to do this breakdown on how to import these D&D Beyond characters into Foundry Virtual Tabletop, the new way, this is as of December 2020. We're actually gonna go over to the screen share and we're actually going to do this in a step-by-step -step fashion, including how to install the module itself. If you know how to install modules in Foundry Virtual Tabletop, I'll actually put a little link down in the description below so you can guys can skip ahead into that timestamp. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so now they're here over the computer. You can see that I'm in Foundry Virtual Tabletop and I'm actually on the add-on modules tab that you can see right here. What we're gonna do over here is we're gonna come down to install module. Now, what you're actually looking for is you're actually looking for the D&D Beyond importer. So we're gonna look for import, and you can see it's this one right here by Mr. Priming. That is the D&D Beyond software that you actually want to bring in, or the module that you wanna bring in here for Foundry Virtual Tabletop version 0.7.8. If you bring in anything else, like the VTTA assets importer, it's not up to date right now, so it's not gonna work for you, but you bring in this D&D Beyond importer, install it, and then launch it into your world and you'll see how it is over here on the other side of this. All right, so now that we're over here at the Foundry Virtual Tabletop side of things, I know this display is gonna look a bit differently than what you're used to. I actually have the Dungeons and Dragons little motif kind of downloaded on here, but it's all the same things. So what you're gonna do in order to make sure that this module is actually installed and on on your computer, is you're gonna come over here to the settings tab and you're gonna go over to manage modules. And then you're gonna come down to find that D&D Beyond importer, which is right here and you're gonna make sure that that is checked on. Now, in order to make this particular module work, you're also gonna need a specific Chrome extension for your computer. It's actually Mr. Primate's D&D Beyond Importer, go figure. Got this little dice here, and you can actually see it. It's up here on my screen right there. Also can get the details from here, from the GitHub page for it. Uh, you're gonna need it just to make it work. Um, there's some other cool things that it has the ability to do, which we'll actually talk about in a future video. All right, now that we're over here in D&D Beyond, we can actually utilize this plugin. So what you're gonna do, is we're actually gonna get the cookie from D&D Beyond's website. So I wanna make sure that we're actually logged into our profile here. We're gonna hit the little dice here and we're gonna click get cookie right there. From there, we're actually gonna go back over to Foundry Virtual Tabletop. From here, we're gonna go to our configure settings, module settings, and we're gonna scroll down to our D&D Beyond importer. Now from here, we're actually going to input that cookie that we got from over here on D&D Beyond. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna paste that cookie right here. Now, I'm not gonna have the Patreon supporter key here, sorry. If you actually become a Patreon supporter, there's some other really cool functionality that you can get as part of this. But for right now, as far as the base just importer, all you're gonna need is that cookie. We'll throw it in right here. Now that we got the cookie installed and everything, all we need to do now is we actually need to create the character. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new actor. And we're actually gonna bring in my Artificer Kitu from my actual home games that I play. And you'll see right here, we have this D&D Beyond import button right here. Very similar to the old VTTA extension that used to be out for this particular, um, this particular system, but it's a little bit different because of obviously we have a couple different things with the extension going on. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna open up a new tab for D&D Beyond. We're gonna go to my collections into my characters. We're gonna grab Kitu right here. Now, all we need for Kitu actually is going to be, there's gonna be a lot of weird warnings about, I have Beyond 20 activated, but it doesn't have an active foundry tab for whatever reason it says, but don't worry about that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy our URL. And you can't see this because it's a little bit off screen because obviously I don't want you guys stealing all my characters, but you'll end up seeing this one on the screen anyway. We're gonna paste that URL in here. Now, I wanna actually update the weapons, other equipment, I wanna update everything that this one has. The image isn't gonna really change because I don't have an image for Kitu, but that's okay. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to start this import. It's gonna go ahead and pull the information from DMD Beyond from that cookie that we used, and it's gonna bring that stuff in. So you can actually see that there's some items being imported right now. And once it gets done here in a little bit, we have key to the artificer. You can actually see here all my stats. There's still more stuff coming in. Um, as you can see there, we got intelligence of 20 and all that cool stuff, but now key two is already in here. And you can see once all these little uh, things stop importing here, it'll take a little while. You can actually see his hit points. Uh, you can see that he's a cobalt incident engineer background. He's a, he's got um, the hit points that's there. He's got a, this has got 12 armor class. That's actually not right. We'll actually fix that later on down the line. Spell save DC is in there at 17, which is correct. And you come over to the inventory and it's all right here. You can actually see all that right here. We actually do have a breastplate on, but for whatever reason, it's not actually coming 
incorrectly, which we'll take care of. There's actually another module in here for active effects that's not quite working the way I want it to, but that's okay. We'll mess with it here in another time. We actually have our tool proficiencies in here from active effects and all that stuff. We've got our spell book with all of our different spells in here from our uh, D&D Beyond character sheet. All that's in here. We even got the biography for the Izzet engineer and the features and all that cool stuff. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is actually how we bring our characters from D&D Beyond into Foundry Virtual Tabletop with this new extension here for 2020. We're gonna have more breakdowns on different stuff that you can do within the Foundry Virtual Tabletop software with this D&D Beyond import. There's actually some stuff for the spells and all that kind of cool stuff, which is really neat. It's enabling you to bring literally everything that you own in D&D Beyond and bring it on over. There's actually, if you saw in previously in the video, you actually saw a little link there for a campaign ID. If you create a campaign, you can bring that kind of stuff in that you've got notes on in there. Really cool. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button down there. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button because it really helps me know that you all are actually enjoying what's here on the channel and that it's very helpful. Because the biggest thing for me, I want to make sure all you new DMs and players out there that are kind of going into this virtual space have a good resource for some of these instructional tutorials, especially in the Foundry Virtual Tabletop space. I hope you all found this uh, helpful and until next time, happy gaming.